Hi, I'm Mary Chib with Bentley Systems. Today I want to show you how to create a window wall using the curtain wall tool. A window wall system is a glass and metal framing system that spans from slab to slab, may employ a floor slab edge cover, and it's commonly used to mimic the look of a curtain wall system. These can easily be created using the curtain wall tool in Open Buildings Designer. The key is to gather information on the system that you plan to use, such as the dimensions, width and depth of the frame, how it meets the slab edge, and so forth. And then I will show you how to create frame and mullion profiles that match the dimensions of your system. Delivered within Open Buildings Designer are parametric cells for standard frame and mullion profiles. All you need to do is locate those cells and add the dimensional variations that you need and then link those into the data group system. So those cells are located in the delivered data set under the cell folder and there is a mullion profiles CEL. And I'm simply going to copy that delivered cell library into my project work set under the standards folder, cell folder, and I'll modify the cells there. So let's just open that up and we'll see how this is done. So I'm going to go back to the application and now I'm just going, and now I will just navigate to that mullionprofiles.cel library that I just copied. We'll open that up. And if I look at the models in here, I can see the, the different uh, profiles and other cells that are part of this library. The two cells I'm interested in are the frame and the mullion. So these are kind of standard profiles. Uh, there's also a generic, which is simply rectangular, whereas the, the frame actually has the, the setback for the glass. So we'll start with the frame. That's the current one I have here. Go ahead and close that. Now, if you select the profile, you'll see it has a number of constraints on it. So these are parametric profiles built with constraints. If I go up to the constraints modeling tab, and you'll see there's a variables icon. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And this is where we set up the variation. So if I select, for instance, two by six, and then apply that to the profile, it changes the dimensions of that profile to the dimensions that you see here. So it's a two inch width, right? You can see that there. It's a six inch depth. Um, and then there are some other dimensions that we may want to pay attention to, such as the window setback, which is set to one inch, or the, the window thickness, which is set to three quarters of an inch. So the particular frame profile that I'm going to use is two and a quarter inches in width and five inches in depth. So I'm going to just create a new variation. I can either just select new or I could even duplicate one that I've already got. And then I'm simply going to rename it. So I'm going to call it two by five front. Now the front indicates the location of the glass. So it's here at the front. If I selected one that was center, you can see how the profile moves to adjust to that. The placement or the origin of the cell is always the center line of the glass. And the back simply would put that at the back of the glass. So we've got our two by five front. And all I'm going to do is change some of these values. So as I said, the width of the particular mullion I'm going to use is two and a quarter. And the depth is five inches. The window thickness is actually one inch. And the window setback, it's actually the, the basically the, the cap there, is only a half inch. We'll change that dimension as well. And we'll leave the window support at three quarters of an inch. And then we'll go ahead and apply. You can see how that changes our profile, but that's the profile that I want. So that sets up the frame. And then I'm just going to switch and do the same for the mullion. So I have a mullion model as well. Again, you can see I've got those same variations here. 
I'm going to simply duplicate one and create my own. So I'm going to call this 2 by 5 front again. And again, the width will be 2 and a quarter. The depth is 5 inches. Window thickness is 1 inch. And the window setback is a half inch. And we'll leave the support at 3 quarters of an inch. Angle is not actually used as a variable in this profile, but we'll set it to zero in any case, and we'll go ahead and apply that. And so now we have that variation as well. Once I have my variation set up, then I can actually create a data group catalog item linked to that variation. And I can actually do that right here from the, the cell library, so long as I'm still in my, my current work set. So I'm just going to go to my data reporting tab. I'll go ahead and open my catalog editor. And I'm going to go down to the curtain wall frame catalog type. And I'm just going to create a new catalog item. I'm going to give this a name. Now I'm going to save this in my project work set. It's the particular frame I'm using on, on this project and we'll just call it 2.25 by 5 and we'll put frame so we know it's a frame. I'm going to save this into my work set. Again, I'm thinking of this as a work set standard and I already have an XML file curtain wall system so I'm going to select OK. And then I just need to set up the properties. So one is the file type. In other words, is this a emollient or a frame? And I can pull that down and I'm just going to select jam. The jam can be used for the head and the sill as well if they're similar. I don't need to worry about the dimensions. Um, I may want to set a particular family and part. So for instance, if I have a part set up for this project. I've got frame one there. And then this is the, the, the critical one, the, pre, the frame profile. And so I'm going to come down here and find my Mullion profiles library. If I scroll down, I should find my frame two by five front. So notice this is the name of the cell, and then this is the variation that I created. So this is the 2 by 5 front. We're going to select OK, and that's it. I can save that. I'm going to create the same for the mullion, so I'm just going to duplicate this. And rather than frame, I'll put mullion. Again, saving it to my work set. And then I just want to change, instead of the jam, this is a mullion, and we'll change our profile. So instead of frame, 2 by 5 front, we should find a mullion, 2 by 5 front. Again, this was the name of the cell. This is the variation that we created. And we're going to select OK, and we'll save that one. Now we also may need a panel. We're just going to put a glass panel in this. And there's a number of glazing panels delivered. If I take a look at it though, I'll notice that the, the panel thickness on that is three quarters of an inch. We wanted a one inch panel in our system. So I'm actually, again, I'm just going to duplicate this and give it a new name. So we'll, we'll just do our project. And we could still call it glazing type one. Again, I'm going to save this in my work set and select OK. Again, I may want to change the part assigned to that. So I've actually got a glaze type one part. And most importantly, I want to change the thickness of my panel. So we're going to make that one inch and we'll save that. Now, Ultimately, we need to take those three parts, those the frame, the mullion, and the panel, and we need to assemble them into the, a system. 
but that's actually easier to do from the tool, so that is what I'm going to do. So we're going to close our catalog editor, and I'm going to navigate back to the file I was working in, one of my office floors. And we're going to go ahead and set up this system, and we'll place it right here between our slab. So I'm going to go to the Architectural tab. I'll open the Curtain Wall tool. Now I'm going to select one of the delivered curtain wall systems, such as Profile Front Typical. But what I want to do now is save that as my own catalog item. So I'm just going to come over here and say Save Catalog Item As. And again, I'm just going to make this part of my project work set. And we'll just call this Window Wall system. Select OK. And then I want to set up the properties of this window wall. Now I'm going to place this here. I might want to have some mullions line up with these reveals in the metal panel. So basically I know I'm, I need three panels and then we can adjust them once it's placed. So the curtain wall type here is, I'm going to call this a ribbon window. I'm going to use as my horizontal layout just a number of panels option. And I'm going to say that number of panels should be three. And then for my vertical layout in this dimension, I'm just going to use a five foot panel and say set it to center. So it always centers the panels. The, uh, the ends can be odd panels. I might want to put a type ID on this, such as WW1, window wall 1. But now if I slide down, this is where I want to select my panel type and my mullions and jams. So I should find the types I just created. So here's my project glazing type. And then as far as the mullion, we want the, the two and a quarter by five mullion. Same for the vertical mullion. And for the jam, it's the two and a quarter by five frame. And then it was already set that the head and the sill are the same as the jam. So I basically have that set up. I do want to remember to go back and save that catalog item so that the next time I select this catalog item, all of these things are already set. So we'll say save catalog item. I'm going to place this by a line. Now the height, I have to, to determine the distance between my slabs. Plus I'm going to allow an inch offset from the slab. I picked that up from my cut sheets that there's a little bit of shim space in there. So I'm going to allow for that. And then we'll place the, the slab cover on as well. So 13.6 is the height I need. I'm going to put in a side offset of one inch. If you remember, our placement line is the center line of glass. And the center line of glass is one inch off the edge of the mullion, which is lined up with the edge of the slab. And then the base offset is the one inch I need for shim space beneath it. So let me just pull this out of the way, make sure my floor selector is set to the correct floor. I've got my locks on. I'm going to just come into the plan view here and snap there to the intersection of my slab and my metal panel as the start point of the curtain wall. Could move over to my ISO view and lock my direction there and then just select the other side of the metal panel. And there is the window wall with the correct profile and panel thickness. I can now come in here. I could adjust this, make it line up with the reveals in the metal panel there. And there we have our own custom window wall system. Now, as I mentioned, there may be a slab cover. 
That might be easier to do by simply placing a profile. So I created a profile of the slab cover. You can see it there. I called this my project window wall slab cover. I'm actually going to flip it and then simply place that. And I'm going to take off the ACS plane lock and just place this here along the edge of my slab between the two metal panels. And there we go. And so using the delivered mullion and frame profiles, you can easily create multiple variations based on the dimensions that you need. You simply then link them into the data group system and you'll have a curtain wall system ready to place. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.